Mohager 6 is a high-wing drone, meaning that its wing is mounted on the upper part of the fuselage, but its twin boom shape is similar to the Mohager 4. The figure of the fuselage shows similarities with the Italian Falco UAV, although Mohager has six more elongated fuselages. The landing gear of this drone has a simple design and is not collapsible. It seems that the low production price has been one of the goals of the Mohager 6 project. The three-bladed propeller motor is located at the Immigrant Body 6. The appearance of these blades is different from previous types, and they probably produce less sound or more force, which have replaced the previous designs. The wings of Mohager 6 are of a simple rectangular type with an asymmetrical horn, to which the double tails of the UAV, like other species of the Mohager family, are attached. Mohager 6 drone, which is one of the leading military products of Iran in the field of drones, has a maximum takeoff weight of 600 kilograms, a length of 5.5 meters, a wing width of 10 meters, a flight ceiling of 18,000 feet, and a speed of 200 kilometers hour. The range of this guided bird is approximately 2,000 kilometers, which is used to monitor day and night and track and pursue targets. Mohager 6 is able to operate in a variety of operations against fixed and moving targets with respect to the possession of guided weapons. The drone can carry 40 kilograms of weapons in its wing hangars and fire smart diamond missiles and vertical guided bombs. Mohager 6 is one of the most advanced and efficient guided UAVs in the field of surveillance using electro-optical, laser, infrared detection systems, electronic enemy interception systems, electronic warfare, interceptor system, and automatic detection, automatic flight, and landing system. A stabilized electro-optical system is installed under the body of the Mohager 6 and behind the front landing gear, which looks like a kind of Eagle 10 system. This system can monitor day and night by tracking and pursuing the desired goals. A front-facing camera is also installed inside the nose of this drone. Mohager 6 uses the same optical system used by Shad 129. This optical system can start the search to find the target from a distance of 12 kilometers and lock on it from 10 kilometers in day view camera mode. Of course, this camera also has a laser pointer and infrared vision system, which is used to guide laser or infrared ammunition. In a significant action, the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran has defined the mission of detecting and disrupting radar systems for Mohajir 6 drones, so that these drones can also act to suppress the enemy's air defense. It seems that the essential capability of disrupting and suppressing the enemy's air defense has also been added to the capabilities of Mohajir 6. Two systems, Tayyam 1400 and Taha 1400, are intended for installation on this drone. The first system, the Tayyam 1400, is a radar detection and warning system that weighs less than 5 kilograms. After conducting reconnaissance operations, transmits information about enemy radar to the Taha 1400 electronic warfare system. The Taha 1400 system weighs about 6 kilograms and is capable of disrupting enemy radars. Both systems can be mounted on helicopters and manned fighters due to their lightweight and size. The images of the Mohager 6 drone, which can carry up to four vertical bombs. Assuming the installation of two systems, Taha 1400 and Tayyam 1400, on the UAV, a weight of about 10 to 11 kilograms, will be completed from the set of 40 kilograms with the UAV, but it can still be said that the UAV is capable of carrying at least two guided bombs. Combining these two radar detection and interceptor systems with vertical remote-controlled bombs could make the drone a staunch enemy for short-range air defense systems. Analysts have also highlighted the ability of Iran to circumvent global sanctions to acquire the necessary components and technology to mass-produce explosives Ladanuevs. This has allowed designated terrorist groups, trained and equipped by the IRGC's extraterritorial Quds force, to use increasingly sophisticated drones in locations ranging from the Golan Heights to the Strait of Hormuz. 
without a comprehensive regional strategy that employs a more active posture to deter and weaken Iran's combat drone capabilities, Tehran and its transnational network of militant groups is likely to conclude that the benefits outweigh the cost of escalating attacks. I believe that the response to Iran's growing threat should be proactive, collective, and multi-layered," said Backer. In other words, countering Tehran's drone threat should incorporate intelligence efforts to block foreign components smuggled from Germany, France, the US and other countries into Iran to be used in its drone program. On a military level, while it is important to develop dynamic, technological and cost-efficient solutions to address this challenge, the response should not rely solely on defensive measures. Acquiring advanced capabilities of the same nature can constitute a credible deterrence and establish a favorable balance of threat. The problem remains with Iran's armed militias, which are harder to deter and have mostly little to lose. When it is necessary, drone shipments should be targeted before reaching them. Stealth attacks on Iran's militias that use these drones should be executed to raise the cost and, whenever necessary, let Iran bear the responsibility. During a recent conference in Chicago, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, an organization of exiled Iranian opposition figures, attempted to highlight to a broad U.S. audience the imperative of recognizing the growing national security threat posed by Iran's drone program. Alariza Jafarzadeh, deputy director of the NCRI's Washington office, said the mastermind behind Tehran's drone program, Brig. Gen. Saeed Agajani was personally responsible for orchestrating the 2019 attacks on Saudi oil facilities. There has to be a comprehensive policy to succeed in containing the Iranian regime's threat regarding its drones and supporting its proxies, Jafarzada told Arab News. The central element of the right policy should be accountability. When Tehran wages terrorism and takes people hostage and hires proxies, it uses them as a tool to gain concessions from its counterparts. So far, because of the lack of accountability, regime terrorism has actually been empowered.